That's what we're dealing with. This is serious stuff. It's not trivial. Because, as we'll see when we look at these videos, it's clear that the congregation is deceived. Mm. People are speaking blasphemy, yet the congregation is saying, Praise God! <laughs> it's like, my God! Come on. Did you, did you just hear what that man said? Did you just hear what that man said? But of course they're not listening. And this is what we're going to, this is the next piece we're going to get into. Why is it <laughs> groups of people who should know better are so easily swayed? Mm. Well, that's because preachers are using something from the world. They're using motivational preaching. They're using public speaking. They're using something called group dynamics. Mm. Okay. Now, now, some of you, and this is a failure, that you might remember this. Remember the Bay of Pigs invasion? Way back with John Kennedy? Yeah. And, they, and, and they, 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 afterwards, they said, well, why did you all make that decision? Mm. Well, and then individually, each person said, well, I didn't, I didn't want to make that decision. Hmm. Individually, they said, I, I don't want to make that decision. But they failed. That's what the rest of the group wanted. Yep. Uh oh, wait a minute now. So they said, let's do it. Very true. It's wow. called group dynamics. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Individually, first I say, I don't think that's right. But well, everyone else is doing it. So it must be right. Mm -hmm. Well, when that comes into the church, mm. that's a powerful mechanism to be using mm. in the church. If I, if I know how to use it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, we're going to talk about a technique. And before I begin into the false prophecies, I want to talk about this technique. And you recognize it. The visiting preacher comes, or even, you know, the, the, the pastor for that church. And he says, let's stand and pray. And join hands. Now, how many of you have ever seen anywhere in the Bible that says join hands? It's nowhere in there. Because, Scripture says, when you're in the sanctuary, do what with your hands? It says lift your hands in the sanctuary. But when I tell you join hands with the next person, what am I actually telling you to do? I'm actually to agree without even saying I agree. The joining of hands is implicit agreement. So when I ask you to stand for prayer that I've not even uttered yet, and you've you've already agreed that you've joined hands with the entire body. You've already agreed. That's part of this group dynamics. Okay, that's part of this hypnosis that's going on. Mm -hmm. Because the people listening don't process things by what the word says. Mm. Right? It's a, it feels good to join. That's a nice thing to do. We, we probably learned it in elementary school. Right? <laughs> right? Let's join hands. That's, that's nice. Mm -hmm. But the word of God commands us to lift our hands. Our hands. Yeah. 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 And yeah. worship to the Lord. Yeah. Because notice the joint hands. Where are my hands? Mm. Oh my God. Pointing where? Down. Pointing down. To the pits of hell. Okay? That's part of the technique. Then, of course, they need good music. Mm. You've got to have good music. We talked last week about heavy drum beat. Mm. Boom, boom, boom. Which actually changed the heart rate. Okay? <laughs> yeah, about, right? Gets you emotionally charged up. And then, of course, you need a motivating, motivating sermon. It's got to be motivating. So I, 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 I copied down a number of things they say to motivate. And some of these we've heard before, but uh, this list is longer. I just want to read some of them to you. Uh, let's see. Uh, what have we got here? God is doing a new thing. Your breakthrough is now. This is your season. This is your turning point. God's about to bless your finances. <laughs> A mighty harvest season will begin soon. The anointing of increase is about to be released. There's a mighty anointing here. Oh, this is one of my favorites. The glory. The glory. If I don't release the anointing, I'll blow up. <laughs> <laughs> no more struggles. Your troubles are over. Jesus. And probably one that caps it. He said, We are the sons and daughters of God. We are gods. 
And the congregation said, praise God. Mm -hmm. They agreed. They will hold the name. They, they, they will hold the hand. They agree. <laughs> Praise God. So we, we get the people to come together, join in. We got peer pressure happening. Everyone is joining hands. So we join hands. As a matter of fact, Brother Marcus and I, when the Lord has visiting churches, the Lord will tell us, don't, don't, don't join hands. And the people next to us will be offended. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with y'all? And you can have them talking about us. Because <laughs> we, we had the whole church holding hands, and we two standing. <laughs> Looking real strange. <laughs> you know, not being part of the group. See, that pressure is there. And if I know how to manipulate it, I can manipulate any group. In the name of Jesus, supposedly. In the name of Jesus. There's a uh, minister out of uh, Hawaii, his name is Mike Oppenheimer, and he, he talks about all these prophecies. You know, we just read many of them, and they, 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 they come every year. It's pretty much the same thing. And he's, he's mystified. He says, well, okay, that's the same thing they said last year. See, he's concluded that Christians must have spiritual amnesia. That's what he calls it. <laughs> spiritual amnesia. To not remember, okay, he said that last year. It didn't come true then. Why are you believing it now? Are you with wow. me? <laughs> Why are you believing it now? The... Um, the, uh, let me read you what 